Man plays game of pool for money like the story commenced. What's this? Steam client has been downloaded. Uh, update. Aye, on you go. Um, Craig had been watching the snooker and went into his local snooker club and said, um, how come this all looks different? And the person said, different what way? Well, the t it looks kind of weird. The tables. You know, for a snooker table, like on the, t oh, this isn't a snooker. It's a pool hall. Oh, oh, the, I thought it was snooker. I just saw the, 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 the kind of, what would you call it? Thing like that. Triangle. I saw the weed thing outside. No, it's, no, it's pool. All right. Oh, I'll, I'll leave then. I was wanting, I, I'll be watching the snooker and I wanted to get in the snooker. He said, there is a, there's a snooker, there's a snooker club a couple of miles away. There's, um, do you play pool? Your interesting pool. Not snooker that I'm wanting to play. There's no much, there's, there's, a, there's quite a few differences in the rules and table size, but pool, same sort of principle. If you want to hang about, get a shot. Um, because obviously that's, you know, it's a guy who works there, you know, he's, it's a business. It's a business. I'm going to just let somebody walk out, you know, get a shot. But, you know, saying, you know, get a shot. I mean, you want to get a, a shot while you're here, you know, see if you like it. If you don't, well, at least it's about a practice for when you do. Go and play snooker. You want to get a shot, it's only three, got a three quid. For a, uh, three quid for half an hour. Three quid for half an hour. An hour, sorry. Three quid an hour, right? And I get to play, play as much as you want, aye, three quid an hour. Well, that's good. Well, that's good. Three quid an hour, that's like... I'd like to live here. I'd like to live here. Three quid an hour. That's cheaper than a fucking a hotel. Poof. Well, it's no hotel. You can't obviously stay here. You've got beds and things like that. Aye, uh, daft thing to say. But, um... Alright. How, how... So, how... How do I play it then? I've, I've never actually... I've always watched this when I was wee, but I've never actually played it. I, I've always watched, like, other... Like, boys when I was... Um, younger playing it, but I've never actually tried it myself. I I I did have heat, but my dad gave us a wee shot and, and nearly ripped to. I'm not going to rip the felt or anything. Like guy, guy went, I just calm down, calm down, right, calm down. Don't worry about it. Um, so you've never played before? No, I have. It just it was a long time ago. All right, right. Just show me what you can do. And he went like that, white ball and all the rest of it. Right. So I'm trying to pot this. No, you just try to break them just now. Right. When you say when you say break, you don't mean no. Just break my part. No, I know. I just did. Oh God, I'm embarrassing myself here. You're doing fine. You got this. Oh, thanks. That's really helped. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. So just that just 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 goes. Aye. Oh. What am I doing wrong? Just rest it against, just rest it, like, rest it against it. And then, you know, drive it forward. Just try and kind of see straight ahead. No, that's, that's called pushing it. You're not really, that's called pushing it. I'll bring it back. What you meant, you know, get a good hit. Right. Did that. You know, bang. But, you know, if you hit it at the wrong bit and it's... Oh, what have I done? You kind of hit it a wee bit too. You sort of rolled it at the top, but it's it's alright. You broke it apart, but but I'll work, back to work on right, right, right. Um, thanks. Sorry, I'll take it for here. I don't want to waste your time. Oh, all right, and well, just practice. Just make sure you don't rip the felt. And Craig spent a good while going like that. Right, it's getting getting a bit better and getting a bit better. A guy would walk by. How are you getting on? I'm getting. Look, look. I'm. I'm I've not really got the time just now. All right. Sorry. 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 And then Craig later on said to the guy, 
Here, listen. Let's make this a wee bit more interesting. But a hundred quid. And the guy who worked here went, a hundred quid for what? I bet we make this a wee bit more interesting. A hundred quid. You know, if you're as good as you say you're. If you don't want it, that's fine. Just then he have you doing as a chicken. <laughs> And the guy went, what the fuck are you on about, mate? There's people looking there. And Craig went, how's about we make this a wee bit more interesting? You said that. What are you on about? You're met, there's no, is that a bet you're talking? They're betting in here. Oh, so you're a chicken. You're a chicken then. I am a chicken. Hey, come on. Let's play, man. I wouldn't want to play you because I would beat you and I would take your money and there's no betting anyway. Ah, would you though? Wait, you take your hustle me or something? It's just a hustle. What do you mean? You're a very, you're actually a really good player, but then you, you sort of pretend you're not as good as you are. It's sort of gain my confidence, and then I'd, I'd go, I'm going to wipe the floor with him. And and Craig went, how how do how do you how do you know about that? How did you know that? The guy went, well, it's just, there's a word for it in everything, so it's pretty, pretty common idea. There's a word for it, hustling. Right. Oh, well. And there's no betting allowed in here? No. How about we take us outside then? The guy went, what do you mean? That sounds funny. How about we take the table outside? And we bet out there. You got my interest. Keep speaking. Craig went. We take a table out. Get a few of the boys there. Take a table outside. Carry that out. No, we'll open up the double doors. Take a table out. You got a wee bit of room there. You're not blocking the pavement too much. You got that wee bit where the motors come down at the car park bit there. That's your. Shutters there, open up a bit, gives you a wee bit of room. People walking by, we're playing for money, put a wee sign there, saying no gambling inside, but this is to draw a bit of attention. People see that people, you know, it's like free advertising. We actually play a wee game. You know, just off the, off the back of the snooker, huge stakes, lots of prize money, gets people interested, but a pool. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know if we're allowed to. People are allowed to place bets. Gambling's allowed. Gambling is allowed. You're allowed to gamble. This isn't America. You're allowed to gamble in any way you want. Gambling is permitted. Gambling's allowed. We're not allowed to gamble. This is outside, remember. Aye, alright. Alright. So they took the table outside. And Craig and that guy went head to head. One hundred pounds. Put a sign up. One hundred pounds. Just kind of written A four sheets of paper, a letter, with a felt tip pen on each one. One hundred pounds to the winner. And they started playing. And some people walking by like that. I've got, there's no rush, let's watch this. This looks interesting. So watching the bench, there's like that nice sweet fucking crowd around. Are you really pay are you really playing for a hundred quid? Aye wee man. That's a lot of money. Winner takes it all. Winner takes it all. And somebody went like Winner takes it all. Like Abba and that got a wee chuckle. Uh, so they were doing that and these three wee guys came walking by wee bastards we're talking about like kind of 13, 14 the pinnacle of bastardom absolutely fucking bastards these three wee guys 
It's a fucking it's school. School day. It's uh, Thursday. It's Thursday at 11 a.m. There might have been fucking school. These wee bastards. And I'm walking about with school uniforms as well, by the way. Blatant. They, they've obviously left. They've obviously left the house. That's me going to school. And they're just like, right, let's meet up most we'll, we'll smoke. Buzz glue. And these three wee guys who are high as a kite on glue walked up and they pulled out knives and went like, Oi! Give us your money! Give us your pocket money! Alright! And they went like, uh, Craig and uh, the guy that owned the, the pool club went like, Sling your hook, boys! Sling your hook, sling your hook, boys. Give us your money, a hundred pounds, we'll be having that. And Craig was ready to, you know, give him, like, just, like, take it out his wallet and go, like, just take it, we don't want any trouble. But the pool owner, pool club owner went like, fucking, grab the wee fucking bastard, you fucking bastards like you can't, you can't do that, get you down for a soak, oh, fucking, can't get you down for a soak, get you down for a fucking murder, you wee bastard. I've fucking been in the fucking jail. You were the last two seconds, wee barra. You were the last two wee seconds, wee barra. You're spit, you're spitting on me, you fucking smelly jock. You were the last two seconds in the jail, wee barra. And these three wee guys pushed themselves, literally, urinated, through fear. We just want to go home, sir, we're sorry. And they ran like fuck, with their legs like... <laughs> you because know, the thighs were all wet with the, the fucking pish. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever pissed yourself, I've pissed myself. Or if you've ever been caught out in the rain with denims and you hear that your thighs rubbing against each other, they were like that. And and uh, Craig went like that, well done. And that guy was fucking raging. And Craig went like that, do you want to just forget about the game? Because everybody went like that, that was amazing. What you, did, what you just did there was amazing. We're sick of these wee bastards. There's this old woman like that. Sick of these wee bastards. I've got bat wee bastards like that in my fucking street. And you can't fucking do it. The police won't do it. The council won't do it. Nobody will do it. I'll be coming to your pool club and so will all my pals. And all, like, I'm not going to go into that side of the story. But honestly, for that point on, the place was like, oh, the bingo. Nobody went to the bingo anymore. Or these all, like old women, they didn't go to the bingo anymore, they all went to the pool, pool club. But what happened just immediately after that though, uh, before all that, before they started going for the bingo at the pool, was uh, Craig said to the guy, why don't you just like, we've done, like, listen to that, like, we're going to be, get, you're going to be getting a lot of business, so that's worked right. Uh, can I get a hundred quid for bringing the business in? And the guy went, here you go, that's a hundred. And Craig went, no, how about we call it a day here, right? I think I think we've, you know, we've done that. We've just we've done this. Do you want to go after the wee bastards? And the guy went. They've learned a lesson. We gave him a short, sharp shock. That's all I want today. Do you know what I mean? Let let let, let these let let the wains be wains. Do you know what I mean? I was kind of like that at their age. You got to let them grow up in their own time and make mistakes and all that, you know, especially these days where it's all recorded with cameras, you don't get the chance to make mistakes and say things you wish you hadn't said and then you get, you know, you get to sort of like get past it, it's all recorded there for all time and all the rest of it, it just doesn't seem fair, you know, when I think back to somebody I alright and fuck it, changed his mind just like that and the two of them went like that, the three wee guys were still, you could still see them in the distance and Craig and the guy went like that. yeah! Boys, start running! 
and they fucking started chasing them with a um, with a pool cue like that. Running like that. And the fucking wee bastards. Because their, their feet were all wet with the pish, they were like, see when they started to try and run away, they were like that to begin with. <laughs> Running on the spot. And then like fucking Sonic style. Or something like that. And uh, Craig and the guy actually caught up with him because there was so much pish, because they were actually pishing themselves further because they were going to get away like that. <sighs> Just pish constantly coming at them. Remember, there was a lot of pish because these wee guys drink all the, I don't know, fucking Sunny D or whatever the fuck they drink, I don't know, Monster, some shit like that. Five, five, ten litre bottles of fucking limeade, whatever it is, fuck, tons of pish. They were like, um, you know the lizards that can run on water? The really lizards that can kind of like run on water? Is it a Jesus lizard? They were like that. Except they weren't going anywhere. That's the wee guys like, except it was like a treadmill. They weren't actually going forward, they were just like... Mm. And Craig and the guy uh, turned up. And the wee guys are still running, and, and Craig was like, ah, one, two. Well, the wee bastard was like, ah, ah, don't <laughs> fucking heed right off. And like a headless chicken, he was still running. We see that, still running. And then the, the guy went like, ah, right, my turn. And he went like, ah, Straight forward. Right through the head. Right through the head. It was a bit clumsy, it was fucking shite. It, it was actually a bit like what Craig did earlier when he was pretending not to be able to play it. So I hit the top of the top of it and made that funny sound. We guy went down. And the middle one was left. And he stopped running. He stopped running. But there was that much pish for him. And the one on the left, and the one on the right, and because of the blood, that the, there was a pool, a puddle, and a wee guy fell in it, and he actually drowned in the pish and the blood. Now the thing is, um, uh, the, the wee guys that actually came out, the, these wee guys were only uh, uh, 14, right? They're actually 18, right? So that makes it all right to kill them, right? Um, and, the, and the, you know, in the story, they were actually kept behind because they were causing so much trouble year after year. They went, if you keep this up, you're going to get kept back a year. And they did it for like about five years. They did that as a team. I'm going to be getting kept back, you know, that because I've not been in school and all the rest of it. What I'm going to fuck up my school and all, I'm going to fuck up, so I get kept behind, they were 18, they were getting kept back, they were in like second year, um, I, they were actually 30, that's right, they were, they were only 18, they were actually 30, in fact, they were older than Craig and this guy, they were 50, in fact 60, 60 will leave it there, no higher, they were three Old wee guys. There were 60. Have you all seen The Passion of the Christ? I don't know if you all seen the, uh, the bit where Judas gets all kind of harassed by like these wee boys. But it sort of cuts to like, it's like all old looking men. Like they're demons. It's like, oh, like, it, you, like you think it's a wee boy and it just sort of cuts to like, you know, the faces are all kind of wrinkly. Oh! It's actually like somebody who's older. Um, it was that. It was like that. You think they'll be, and then you go, wait a minute. And, you, you know, you see kind of like bags and all that. You're like, oh. Uh, anyway, so the three wee guys, uh, old wee guys died. And men, old women saw that 
and went, see what you did there? You've just done what I've been trying to get the council and the polis today for the last three years. And they've not lifted a finger. And instead, these wee boys are getting, you know what they're getting? They get put in jail, if they get put in jail, and it's like hotels in there. And they're getting the space invaders and all that. Pac-Man. Space invaders and handheld Pac-Man. All that. And Craig went like that, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a charity fucking pool game. And they did a charity game and see every fucking old woman who had come for a bingo to get into the pool, every fucking one of them got a handheld Pac-Man game. I'll show you exactly which one they got. It was actually Pac-Man uh, game uh, handheld. Oh, there it fucking is! There it fucking is! I fucking hate this! I fucking hate this! I fucking hate that! I fucking hate that! Every fucking... I hate that, man! I hate that! That was mine! There was one called Puckman. There was one called, like, Puckman that was, like, a kind of fucking rip-off. I fucking had that. Jesus, that takes me back. I mean, I've, I've looked at it before on the, on the, on the stream before. Anyway, um, every one of them got that. Every one of them got that. Pool table. Pac-Man, the lot, the end. <laughs>